What brings Ezokati where to my palace? Again, you know why I am here. It would be nice if you try not to pretend. Of all the things I ever claim to be in this life, nobody can ever say that he or she has seen me anywhere claiming to be a soothsayer. So it will be appreciated if you explain to me the reason you are here. Yes, he Stop it. With all due respect, do not play games with me. I am that easy king of whom we can get kingdom that even demons are scared of. How dare you raise your voice at me? Easy. Don't worry about that. I will take care of it. Thank you. My very intelligent domestic staff has actually offered the very kind of whiskey I, I lent you like. I don't like the way you are staring at my domestic staff. Let us stick to the topic at hand, Daisy King. You are the cause. The problems we are having. Fix yourself, Vikinga. Ezo Katiwe, you are the visitor here. And I'm advising you to call yourself to order. This is the third workers we've lost in the space of 10 weeks. How long are we going to continue like this? Yeah, I am asking all of you to calm down. Let us await the return of our king. He's already with the king of Umi Kinga. I believe when he comes back, he will sort these things out. Uche, how are we even sure that King Ikenga of Umi Kinga has a hand in these deaths? Hmm. There's a lot in this that you don't understand. Like I said before, let us await the return of our king. When he comes back, I really believe you must have resolved this with the king of the king. Ije, indeed, a lot is going on and we need to know about it. Because we may consider pulling out all our workers if we continue to die. The most surprising aspect of it is that all the death recorded are mysterious in nature. As if there is a strange force in the sight killing people. Yes. I, young man, I, I must confess I feel your pains. I hope we don't talk about this. I employ that we be a little more patient. With due respect, Ichi, I take exception to that statement. We need to discuss this matter. Yes. We need to talk about it so that we can provide lasting solutions. Yes. The king is already doing something about it. And I give him a word. No one is going to die again. The same promise the king made to us. When we first lost our staff. And up to now, nothing has been done about the death. His family was compensated and was given a befitting burial. Compensated, you mean? A befitting burial? Now it's clear to us that our lives may... Nothing to you all. No, no, right. No, no, you don't, you don't but, but that is it. You don't understand. You don't understand. That is not what you meant. But that is it. It's very, very clear. Hey, Wikinga. Just so that I am not accused of ambiguity, I am going to be as clear as possible. And I'm going to ask you. Kelifi ne bulundi baanye. 
Why are you killing my people? I am equally going to be very, very clear in my explanation to you so you don't misunderstand me. Your people will continue to die as long as they, they continue to encroach into that land. The Kenga, but you know that the unknown Gene mining field belongs to my people. That's a lie. Are you aware? It's a lie. And you know how I hate lies. Why do you talk like this? Why are you like this? Why do you talk as if you're not aware of the judgment passed by our forefathers, which was ruled in our favor? That the judgment was in your favor does not mean that the land belongs to you. I was reliably informed that your elders of Enuhaku that year bribed the men that sat in judgment. And that was the reason the judgment was in their favor. Ikega. Mm. William Wayo. William Wayo, how? Now, that's an insult to our ancestors, and I'm not sure they'll be happy with you. No, no, no. I am not actually bothered whether they will be happy or not. I am telling you what happened. Let me even tell you. If those your ancestors will appear here now, I am going to tell them to their faces that they are very corrupt and nothing will happen. Ikenga. Hmm. What is it? How are you a person? I don't know why you're person around. I offered you the best of whiskey, the kind you like, with a fist of drink, and you're telling me about the land that belongs to me. You shouldn't be saying that. Kelefecha, what do you want? I want you people to stay away from that land. I don't want you or anybody from the UN going there to mine any of my precious stone. The land belongs to me. Why do you like to ask for the possible? Huh? What is the possible? It's never going to happen. The land belongs to us. The land does not belong to you. The land belongs to me. No, it belongs to my people. Stop killing my people. You know, you speak ignorance with so much boldness. And it is very unfortunate. Very unfortunate. Listen, let me tell you something. The deaths at the mining field yesterday would be the last. If any other person dies, I am going to come for you, Ikenga. He just challenged me to the fight. Are you away? I am telling you, Ikenga, that I know that you are responsible for the people that died at the mine. One more life, one more, and I'm going to come at you with everything that I have. You call that a challenge, I don't care. But I call it a dare. You come against me with what you have. What the hell do you think you have? I have just drawn the battle line in front of you. One more life. If we think I'm back here. Yeah, I don't know. It's all in one. Please. Try me. Okati, boy. It's Okati, boy. I'm going to go sing it. Yeah, I don't know. I to see through walls, for the bad to suffer, the strongest, and not for the weak. The strongest fight is fought with the wisdom. Even though the ghost has their plans, nothing happens without a cause. See, when two giants are fighting, oh, the grass so falls off. When two heroes are fighting, the grass so fast it all. Game and God, game and God's all. As you know this world, game and God's all. Game and God, game and God's all. As you know this world, 
Are you wiser than the gas? See, nothing happens without a reason. So you got to listen from the beginning. The five things from the Why? Why, Ella? Why what? I mean, do you realize you are in the palace? Of course I realize I am in the palace. My prince, what is your argument for today? Listen, we have a code of conduct. We have a modus operandi that guides this palace. And you must confine yourself to the rules and regulations of this palace. My prince, you brought me into this palace. And you did not tell me any rule to follow. So what is it? Okay, palace aside. I, as an African woman, are you supposed to be doing this? <sighs> my prince, my prince, my prince, my prince. Hmm. talking and you're, you're, you're lighting another one. Listen, my dear, this is the 21st century where everyone gets to do what he or she wants. Okay? So please. Ella, I'll tell you what's going to happen. If this relationship must continue, then you have to do away with all this wayward lifestyle of yours. You have to do away with them. Listen, you are going to be the queen of this kingdom. Someday, if we get married, of course my father would not be there. Are you going to ascend the throne with a cigarette in your hand? Did you just call me wayward? I did not call you wayward. I only pointed out your wayward lifestyle that you have to leave behind. You know what? I've had enough of your insults. I am leaving this place right now. You think you're the only one that has a father's house? I have a father's house! What is all this? Ella, why are you always misunderstanding me? Discussion will take a bit long. I advise my husband, the Reverend King, to please take a seat. Okay. I am seated. The land belongs to the people of Enwa. I will advise you leave it for them. Says who? Just like their king said, our forefathers sat in judgment and administered justice in their favor. So why then are you fighting over a land that does not belong to you or your people? You know, that they sent you is not actually my problem. My problem is, why will you allow yourself to be sent in the first place? Why? Nobody sent me. And you expect me to believe that? Well, I have listened to my wife who they sent to come and speak rubbish into my ear. And now I want my wife to go back to them and tell them that I will continue to kill their people as long as they continue to encroach into that land. Can I ask you a question? If the question is intelligent enough, go ahead. To what end, you Because you don't know what I'm doing. You don't actually understand why I am doing this. I am doing this in the corporate interest of our Umi Kenga Kingdom. I am doing this for our children, for our grand, grand even generations on board. They will eventually understand what I am doing. Please, the blood you are spilling. 
in with speak against our unborn children and that is my problem. Can't you see? You know what? I want you to get out of my sight this minute. I can only lend my voice just like as I've done. Out. I said, out! He just declared war. Okay, brother and Babu. And war will go with them. We are not going to go to war. Going to war at this point in our lives will not be our best option. Your Majesty, and I have some people that are going We have had enough from Izzy Kinga. So we have to show him that we are not weaklings. We have to. We are not with limits. But going to war will not be the only way to show that you're not a weakling. There are other ways we can go about this as to show them that we're not weaklings. Your Majesty, if you ask me, I would like to know the modality you have put in place to prove to him we are not weaklings. I'd like to be left alone. Your Highness, are you asking us to leave you at this critical time? Yes, I'm going to think about this and I'll get back to you. <laughs> Your Majesty, the miners are threatening to leave the site if any of their staff die again. Tell them that I said no one would die. That was exactly what I told them in your absence. But they said they can no longer rely on these promises. And let them know that this time I'll make good my promise to ensure that no one dies again. If His Majesty says no one will die again, I believe no one will die. Your Highness, when are we expecting this your feedback? So. Good. Ella, wait, 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 Relax. Why are you being this difficult, Ella? You are the one who is being difficult. Me? Yes. You want me to live your life. I cannot do that because I have my own life to live. On the contrary, I only ask you to behave like a regular African woman and not my life. Oh, really? Yes. Let me ask you this question. Does behaving like a regular African woman entail being in bondage? I never said that. Then allow me breathe. Give me some space. Cut me some slack. Listen, this is not about me. I mean, I really wish I, I can, but I, I cannot. I can't. Oh, really? Listen, Ella. Soon, you will become royalty. And the stream of good behavior will flow through you to every single maiden in this kingdom. And that means that you have to live by example. You see? That's exactly what I am talking about. I don't even understand how you see me. No, no, my prince, how do you see me? Like a spoiled brat? A woman with a decayed behavior? Is that how you see me? Please do not misunderstand me again, Ella. Please. So what are you talking about? Because I am not understanding anything any longer. It's simple. I'm only asking that you behave like a well-mannered, well-trained African woman. Is that too much to ask for? Nah. I don't see myself doing that. I can't. Okay, so, 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 so what's the plan? Isn't it obvious? I am dumping your ass, bro. I am leaving you. I am done. 
hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. One second. Let me get this straight. You are leaving this relationship simply because I asked you to behave well. Oh, please, for the record, I am of good behavior. You are the one who is not of good behavior. And I cannot continue with a guy with such character. What character? Don't even ask me that. You know what I am talking about. Come on! This is the 21st century. Wake up! Breathe! Leave! What's the problem? You're too uptight for my liking. I'm only condoning this because my father recommended you. If not, I would have kicked you out a long time ago. And why are you staring at me like that? Oh, you wanna hit me? Bring it on. Hit me! Hit me! Hit me, my prince! I said hit me! Rubbish. Excuse me! Do you know that each time I am carrying the king with that uh, red range or that particular Lexus there, there is this confidence in me that the poor is going to break <laughs> in the near future. <laughs> <laughs> but if not that... <laughs> what is that girl doing in this palace? What is she doing here? I learned... She's a slave girl. Nah, I don't think so. Why? Because she's so close to the king and queen. If she's a slave girl, she wouldn't be allowed that close to the royal heads. She's a special servant to the king. Exactly! Ijia, she's a special servant to the king. In that special room. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's not what you are thinking. And you should know that as a king, is not that kind of a king. Mm. One, well, Nekopo, I have learned not to trust kings with regards to women, bro. My, my mm. You may be right, but as a king is a special king. And come to think of it, if such thing is going on in the palace, the queen would have sent her packet. Don't you think so? Um, uh, he has a point here. And to be sincere with you guys, that maiden done the end of my eyes since day one. Mm? I swear with everything I hold sacred. Friday, I know if he breathe in peace because of that maiden. Never more. <laughs> but there is this something about her that always scared me. I don't know. I believe that girl, maybe she's in charge of one deity like that also. I don't I can't ah. really tell. Ah. I think the same thing too. That girl is an embodiment of evil spirit, eh? Thank you. Same question begging for an answer. Why would Onyeze allow a maid in such a disposition to be in charge of everything around him? Why? Um, I think this discussion is enough. We should go back to our various positions and mind our business. Instead of being here discussing the king's decision, which is none of our business. And we'll never be. I'm out of here, please. How are you? Right now, I don't know how I, I feel. How was your meeting with the King of Umi Kinga Kingdom? Oh, that man. That man is refusing to listen to the voice of reason. In other words, he's looking for your trouble. As it stands, I'm afraid yes. And what do you intend doing? I'm thinking. What exactly does he want from you? He wants us to stay away from the land and claims that the land belongs to him. Even when he knows the land does not belong to his people? 
He is clearly calling for war. And I think that it is time. Maybe it is time we give a war. No, my darling. No. You are not going to give him that. You know, we are going to break some together. And then that way we can be able to find a way to solve this issue. Certainly not well. <sighs> okay. Show him your high level of wisdom and he will bow at your feet. So that I can whisk you out of this palace. <laughs> so. Crazy things. <laughs> Why would you barge in like that? I wish to speak with my father. Are you stupid? You're not even apologizing for what you did. You should at least behave like someone who came from a home. Mirabel, please. Watch your language. You should get out of the space. We're having a wonderful moment before you barged in. So hard. It's okay. Please excuse us. What? What? You heard me. Uh, excuse, excuse you? But he just bited on us when we're having a wonderful moment. You and I have the rest of our lives together to enjoy so many beautiful moments, all right? But for now, please, let me deal with this. Fine. You know what? I would leave. But when you're done with your discussion with your almighty son, make sure you continue the enjoyable moment with him. Do you know why? I am done. I've lost it. You know that it was wrong of you to marry me. Thank you, Justin. Wrong of you. I don't know when you are going to learn the basic rules of life. I don't know. These are things that I keep talking to you about every day. My name is Zach Orji, and I'd like to encourage you to watch quality Nollywood movies on Sony Reaching Nolly TV. My name is Frederick. My name is you, you, Edoche. Go and subscribe to Sony Reaching Nolly TV.